Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have some insane new design tools, resources, announcements, and some of these are from very unexpected companies at the most unexpected times. So let's check out all these amazing new resources for the month of April 2025. Before we begin, I have to make a major announcement. There is somebody or there's, I don't know who these people are, are trying to impersonate me or are trying to demean me online. I have seen some weird screenshots. I cannot show them, unfortunately. I don't want any legal issues. However, there's someone who's trying to impersonate me. So unless you get an official message from one of my social media accounts, I'll put them on the screen. Apart from this, if you get any message from anybody else, anything anything asking for money or anything, these scamsters are very big nowadays and they can do anything with AI and whatnot. So just make sure that you are cross-checking anything that you're getting from my end. Now let's just move on to the video. So the first one's from our favorite tool, Figma, and it's the Figma AI update. This is something that they're bringing right before their config event is gonna happen. And this is called edit image. You can edit an image with AI. You can adjust lighting. You can remove objects from the image specifically. You can even add objects behind something. So if I want clouds behind, behind birds, I can ask for those clouds. This will be really helpful to create some custom backgrounds or, or create some cool effects in the current images that we're using, whether it's for marketing, web design, UI design, whatever it is. I've sh I'll show some examples on screen of what you can achieve with this. Apart from that, they've also introduced choice of your own image generation models. So if you wanna generate an image or anything with AI in Figma, you can now just click on GPT image one. There's a drop down that comes in and you can choose from Google Imagine 3 Titan version 2 or GPT image 1. These are the model, different models that they're using and each model will produce a different style of image. Each model will be a different speed, etc. So you guys can always check out what kind of model suits you best and which is best to be used inside Figma AI for your. I think this is really cool. The config event, which is Figma's biggest event of the year is happening this week itself. And I'm super excited for it. I think the tickets are all sold out if you wanna go in person, but the live event will happen. I will be covering everything on this channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as I update you guys with the Figma event updates. There are gonna be some insane things happening this week. A lot of cool stuff, a lot of leaks will be proved right or wrong as well. So let's see what happens this week. Okay, so I'm sure you guys already know about Spline Tool. They've introduced something called HANA that's meant for creating 2D assets inside, but also animate these 2D assets, add interactions as if you were doing it in Figma and be able to export this in different kinds of formats for your website, etc. I think this is really, really cool. I will show some examples of what you can do with HANA and I will, and they're focusing also now on 2D experiences. Since not everyone wants 3D, this can also become a 2D design tool with interactions and animations in built. Now using this is very simple. You just have to go into Spline, the Spline app or, or the Spline tool. Under create, you will now get a new option apart from 3D design, which is called HANA. 2D design. Once you go with that, you can use an unlimited canvas just like in Figma. You can create your 2D illustrations, UI designs, whatever you like, and then start adding complex animations and interactions to this. So it could be mouse movement. I'm gonna sh once again show examples of how UI designers can use this as well. Once again, HANA seems like really a really cool tool. It's available in your browser. If you're already using Spline, this is just a perfect addition to it. Kudos to Spline for continuously just innovating. Talking about innovation, there is a new tool in town, guys. It's called Magic Animator. And yes, it does exactly the... as So you just type in or describe the animation. It could be a basic one. Based on what it sees on screen, so it could be your UIs, it could be brand, it could be a logo. And based on that, it will just animate everything on screen. It'll recognize what is there and animate it accordingly. So if you want a clock to rotate or if you want things to slide in, anything can happen. You just have to type in and it will create or produce it. In fact, it comes with a Figma plugin. So it's just very convenient now. You don't have to. You won't have to get a third party tool. You can do a lot of stuff inside Figma. And if you want to do some advanced stuff, you can use their existing tool, which is the Lottie Lab tool, which is connected to it, and then export it and make it your own, edit it and stuff like that. Now the founder has shown some really cool examples of this 
and he's also shown how this will work in action inside Figma. Now, the only thing here that is stopping us from using this and it's still in its early beta or late alpha stages. So only a few of you guys will get an invite to this. I suggest go ahead, quickly sign up to this invite. This seems like a revolution. There is no other AI tool which is doing this so well as they are demonstrating it here. It, it seems as if you've done it manually. Doesn't seem like AI has done it at all, which is really cool. The only alternative I can think of is Lottie Files AI, which is similar to this, but it cannot do this kind of complex stuff that this is doing right here. So once again, just check this out, check what it, they're offering. The website is really cool and you can get it tested early if you sign up now. So go ahead, sign up now for free. Okay, Canva shook the industry in April. Like everyone was talking about this. Every year they kind of bring stuff, which is sort of un which is sort of unbelievable for a tool like Canva. This year, it's taking it to the next level. It's called Canva AI and Canva Code. Yup, Canva AI, of course, brings a lot more powerful AI features to the existing design tools and branding tools. But Canva Code just blows everything out of the water. It seems like a very simplified version of, say, Webflow or Frame, but in built inside Canva. Yep. In fact, you can bring interactive animations, cursor interactions, anything that you want to any design. Even if it is a brand design which you want to introduce on your website, let's just say that. You can add interactivity to it. So it seems as if a developer has made it, but it's just a designer adding stuff onto their designs. Essentially, coding, adding code to your designs, it's like JavaScript, you know, JavaScript is able to animate stuff, make things interactive, make things accessible to people. This is exactly that. Now, it'll be cool to see how this connects with Canva websites. Canva websites is, again, like Framer or Webflow, but very simplified, and it's just to create basic landing pages. Can this bring powerful web features and code to that platform? That is still the question. I couldn't find anything on that. But once again, they're slowly going to roll out this feature. It's called Code for Me, and it will introduce and it'll be introduced on the main homepage or the dashboard. And you can just start Code for Me from anywhere after that. So once again, really excited for this. There's a huge announcement. You guys should check out Canva's. I think it's called Canva Connect. If I'm not wrong, you should check out their event and what they have for the design world. They're always bringing something new and trying to get into different aspects, just making things useful. All right, so the next one which was announced was call, is called Google Whisk. And I'm sure you guys have already tested out the imagine, the imaging aspects of ChatGPT. That was going viral. It's bringing animations to these styles of illustrations. Now, whether it is stealing art or not, that's a different debate. Let's not talk about it here. This AI animation tool is literally going to change how you create quick animations for ads and whatnot. You can generate an image just like you could with Google's labs. Under Google Labs, there's now something called Whisk. So it'll create a scene. You can build a diff scene with it, and then you can quickly add an animation to it. So based on the scene, based on the style, lighting, everything, it will perfectly add a really interesting animation, which feels natural, which feels as if it is pertaining to this style. It doesn't feel out of place or just some random animation. So check this out once again. It's under the Google Labs called Google Whisk 2. Taking a break from AI because that's a lot of the announcements. Let's check out a platform called designsystems.surf. Now, designsystems.surf is a really cool platform built by an individual. Again, I put their socials on screen. I think a really cool designer. This platform literally consolidates all the design systems in the world. Components, directories, libraries, design systems, all of that good stuff in one place. In fact, the website even has something called guides. Things like foundations of a design system, UI kits, typography guides, etc. All combined from all the design systems in the world. So instead of going through design systems one by one, this is one platform that is going to completely bring out, that's going to completely bring everything together. Click on one of the design systems. Inside that, you can get all the various links that you can access inside that design system. You can even check out different repositories from GitHub, their, the sources, etc. Everything from this website. They even have components. So if you want to check out buttons from different design systems, Let's just say, or like tabs from different design systems. You can do that. So you can check out Audi's design system. 
and you can see how Audi creates buttons or navigation or whatever you want to choose or how Dell does it, let's just say. So again, a really cool one platform for everything in one place. A lot of these design systems I didn't even know about. So that really shows that design systems is a vast world. And this website, designsystems.surf, collects all of them for free, of course. And the best part is you can even subscribe to a newsletter that this wonderful designer has created, a bi-weekly newsletter, bringing new design systems, components, any updates in the design system world, and just general design work as well. Okay, moving on to another UX design tool called UX Audit. Now this, once again, is an invite-only tool right now. However, it is great if you just quickly sign up, they might give you an early invite. That'll be cool. Now this tool does something very cool. It brings whatever website you have or whatever de designs you have created for say an e-commerce platform, you upload it here and it can give you a complete UX audit generated by AI. So what it will do is it will show you where your website is going wrong, are there issues with, are there issues with accessibility, are there visual design discrepancies, some inconsistencies in your design, everything in one place. What's great about this is that you can open up each and every issue that they point out and they'll try and explain what you can do to improve this UX. And that just makes so much sense. These audits generally are either done by, for free by different design studios who might want to get your business. But apart from that, it is done for a price generally. But this amazing tool is being able to bring that to you absolutely free. Of course, there will be some paid tiers once it is fully launched and everything comes in. Right now, it's completely free. However, it's only available for e-commerce platforms. So if you have an e-commerce right now, that'll be great. They're soon going to bring for SaaS, brand marketing web pages, corporate web pages. So you can do, an use, do a UX audit for anything in the future. Okay, so I, for one, use Firefox as a browser. Let me know in the comments, what browser do you use? What's your favorite right now? But I used to use Arc Browser a lot. I'm sure most designers remember Arc Browser. It's still a thing, but they're not developing or bringing new features anymore. They're kind of stepping back from that browser. They're bringing something called Dia or Dia, whatever you want to call it, where you're from in the world. And this tool essentially is a web browser. However, a web browser powered with a bunch of AI tools, bringing an agentic AI platform into browsers. This is what Google is investing millions of dollars into already in their own for Google Chrome. So Google Chrome will have certain things like this in the future very soon. But in the meantime, Dia is trying to bring the next level of browsing to the world. Now, we already know that Arc was a huge success. Everyone loved Arc. It really disrupted the industry. It took a lot of people away from the old home and Firefox and stuff like that. And everyone got addicted to it. It had the invite only system. So marketing was perfect. Everything was great. So Dia would, I am looking forward to using Dia. People are already giving invites to Dia on Twitter. I would suggest searching for this Dia invite or Dia by browser company on Twitter. And you'll get a bunch of people giving away invites. You can ask for an invite on their platform already on their website. But if you want an early invite, you can ask these folks on Twitter for it or somewhere else on the internet. I mean, if anybody wants to give away Dia browser invites and you're watching this video, please put that in the comments. Let everyone enjoy this new AI powered future of browsing browser. That is what a lot of other companies are also betting on. Google for one is doing that and Microsoft I'm sure is just behind it. Alright guys, that was it for today. I enjoyed checking these tools out. I hope you did too. If you did, hit the like button. That really helps the channel. That helps other people discover the video as well. You can help other designers by just liking this video. And I will and make sure you subscribe to the channel because I make such content, design related content every single week. No, no week skipped unless I'm sick or something. So I'll see you guys next time. Until next time, take care. God bless.